Tropical monsoons drown the land, transforming these plains into a vast expanse of shallow wetlands. A nocturnal water python patrols the soggy land surrounding the river's edge. The python can go for two years without feeding, shrinking its gut to reduce the amount of energy it needs to survive. It's been a long time between meals. The python's appetite needs to be satiated and there's a perfect target scurrying about. A Rakali, a native water rat and wetland forager. Like the python, it prefers nighttime ventures. It will scoop up crustaceans and pounce on the opportunity of an easy muscle. It then slinks back to a regular feeding site to consume the meal. The water python stalks its prey. The snake's mouth is surrounded by scales that can pick up the heat signatures emitted by warm-blooded victims. In Australia, only constrictors like the python possess this sense. It receives a faint signal from the Rakali and closes in. There's no escaping the python's suffocating grasp. Its coiling body forces the water rat's blood pressure to soar. The rodent's heart fails to pump blood to its vital organs. The python squeezes until the Rakali is dead. The snake should be wary when consuming its prize. These wetlands are full of thieves. The python's lower jawbones aren't fused together at the front. Instead, they're held together by an elastic ligament, which allows for an exceptionally wide gape. Teeth in the lower jaw then rake the food back into the throat before waves of contracting body muscles push the food down. The snake's gut quickly kicks back into action, producing powerful enzymes and gastric juices that slowly digest the Rakali. The water python slithers from the scene of the crime in search of somewhere to digest in safety. Far from its own floodplain predators, both in the water and in the air.